and welcome to my books that made me cry video. There are actually more than the 10 books that I have here that have made me cry, but I decided to pick the top 10 books that made me cry and let's get into it. So first off, I have A Dog's Purpose. This book just made me bawl my eyes out. I am a complete and total dog lady. I love dogs. They truly are really the only pet between cats and dogs. Dogs are definitely my top pick. I currently have two dogs now. I have two female Yorkshire Terriers. They're super adorable. I'll include a picture of them right here. But last year in 2016, I lost my dog of 12 years. Her name was Sabrina Rini. And oh my god, I'm gonna start crying. Um, she was a Tibetan Terrier and I loved her so so much. Here's a picture of her. She was literally my best friend. I was in a deep, deep depression when I got her. She was just my savior. I had no other choice but to pull myself out of my depression to take care of her because when I got her she was only four weeks old and I had to bottle feed her. And I don't know, we just bonded so much and when she passed away it was a decision that we had to euthanize her and it was the hardest day of 2016 and I had a lot of hard days in 2016. Um, I had a major emergency surgery after having to put her down and I would rather go through that surgery all over again than have to relive putting my 12 year old dog down because she was just very old, she was very sick, and it was just her time to go. And I'm literally going to start crying you guys, but she was the light of my world and I just miss her so so much. And this book just made me cry during so many parts while reading this and it just reminded me a lot of Sabrina and I actually have two framed portraits of her, her ashes and her favorite toy that I had bought her when we went to Rio de so, New Mexico and she absolutely loved it. It was a little lamb chop and I have all of that on my windowsill above my bed and that's where she is so she's always really close to me and I love my two new puppies but Sabrina still holds a huge spot in my heart. Okay so I had to take a moment because that was really hard but next up I have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Definitely one of my favorite books. I cried so much while reading this book and then the movie I thought the movie was actually really beautiful and I rarely enjoy the movie adaptation of a book but this one was definitely one of my favorite books next up I have I was here by Gail Foreman she just writes really beautiful heartfelt books I love her books so much so this is another one that made me cry Next up, I have The Time Traveler's Wife, definitely one of my favorite books that definitely made me cry my eyes out. Next, I have The Serpent King by Jeff Zetner. I received this in my Lit Cube subscription box. I think this was the first book that I received. This was my very first Lit Cube subscription box. and. I thought I was not going to like it. I actually loved it very, very much. And I cried so much. I had to literally stop and just cry and then continue reading. It was just so sad. I loved it so much. Next up, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. 
I freaking love this book so much. I cried so much during this book. But of course, the one book that, I mean, just made me cry the most is A Dog's Purpose. But I cried a lot during this one too. The next book that made me cry is Lovely Bones by Alice Bull. Just a really beautiful and really sad book. Definitely a must read. And what list is not complete without Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Completely, completely beautiful story and definitely a tearjerker. I have yet to see this movie and I don't know if I want to see the movie because I'm afraid that the movie is just going to be so horrible and I'm going to hate the movie so, so much. But the book is just so, so lovely. And of course, we have The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. I mean, seriously, who does not cry during this book and especially the movie? The movie is so beautiful and the book just even more remarkable. And last but not least, we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Need I say more? This book, I mean, if you're a Harry Potter fan, then you know exactly why this book is a tearjerker. So there is my list of the top 10 books that made me cry. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, then hit that thumbs up button down below. It'd mean the world to me if you did. So there is my list of the top 10 books that made me cry. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, then hit that thumbs up button down below. It'd mean the world to me if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscription button so you don't miss any more videos. And of course, I have some giveaways coming up, so you don't want to miss out on those either. In the description box, you'll find all of my social media info for Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And in the comment section down below, let me know what books made you cry. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, book lovelies.